Okay, good morning everybody. Myself is Professor Dr. Ajayendra Deshpande. Today is a Friday, that is 26th of August 2016. We are in the Ibeth College degree, Pradhikaran Pune 44. My dear friends, you know that in the Sharir Kriya subject or even the medicine subject, you have one topic called the artificial respiration. In Ayurveda or in Sanskrit, it is called as the Kritrima Shosana Karamaja. So today, we are going to see some slides out of it and then we will see some practical demonstration of how we can perform this artificial respiration. Only first slide, I would like to say, you can shift over there on the screen, for example, I will take it a PPT presentation. So this is presented by Professor Dr. Deshpande. My website is ayurvedicfriend.com and my mobile number is 9226810630. Email ID is Professor Deshpande at gmail.com. So, my dear friends, let us see what are the indications for artificial respiration. When you find that a person has stopped his respiration, but his heart continues to beat. When this can happen, that respiration is going on, but the heart has stopped. Rather, heart has continues to beat, but respiration has stopped. These conditions are drowning suffocation in smoke, paralysis of the respiratory muscles and electric shock. But when you go for artificial respiration, you must select a proper method. For example, if the patient is having a downing case, then the method should be of in prone position. That means the patient will lie on the abdomen that we are going to see afterwards. So there are two methods. That is in prone position, Schaeffer's method it is also called as a prone pressure method and holger nelson method that is called as arm lift back pressure method. Now, here I have described all the methods that we are going to see today. We will take the 10 minutes two phases or two videos, small videos. First video will cover first two methods that is in prone position, Schaeffer's method, prone pressure method, holger nelson method that is arm lift back pressure method. In the second audio session, we are going to see Sylvester method, that is arm lift chest pressure method. And lastly, we will see mouth to mouth respiration. But before starting the artificial respiration, doctor or the whatever, whoever the person over there, he should take some precautionary measures that the tight clothes of the person should be loosened then patient or the person should keep warm. Froth from the mouth and nose is cleaned. Danger is removed and patient is taken to fresh atmosphere. Now first method, Schaeffer's method that is prone pressure method. What we are going to do? Doctor that is myself will kneel near the patient's vest who is a volunteer from my college. I would like to thank over here Mr. Satish Kare who is my assistant and who will help as a volunteer in this particular project. Then I will put palm on the patient's loin. By bending forward, doctor will apply pressure. What will happen? Pushing the abdominal viscera up, that will bring about the expiration. Then when I will bring back myself, that means doctor is pressing on the loin, expiration takes place. And when doctor is bending backward, inspiration takes place. Inspiration lasts for 3 seconds, expiration lasts for 2 seconds. This is roughly judged by saying the words 1, 2 or 1, 2, 3. Main advantage of the Schaeffer's method is its prone position. Water from the abdomen and lungs can be easily drained and lungs can be easily drained. It is very simple method, non-tiring method and it can be continued for the longer time. If there are injuries to the thorax or back, this method can be used. Only disadvantage of this method that inspiration is passive and expiration is active which is unphysiological. If there are injuries to the abdomen, this method cannot be applied. Next method we are going to see is Holger Nelson method that is arm lift back pressure method. Of course, this is also in prone position Doctor kneels near the patient's head, facing towards him. Doctor will pull his arms up. This will bring about inspiration. 
then myself, that means doctor, will leave his hands on the side and put his palm on the patient's scapula. Bending forward, he will apply the deep pressure on his chest. This will cause expiration. Then we will go for the next slide. So, in this Holger Nelson method, again, inspiration for 3 seconds and expiration for 2 seconds, we can get this idea by saying our, with our mouth that is 1, 2, 3 or 1, 2. Main advantage of this method is adequate drainage of water from abdomen and thorax. So, this is the good method in case of drowning. But if there are injuries to the abdomen, this method can be used. In this Holger Nelson method, both inspiration and expiration are active, so good ventilation is obtained. Only disadvantage is this, that it is a tiring method, so sometimes we will need some assistance from another person. Similarly, if there are injuries of the scapulae, this method cannot be used. So my dear friends, now we will take a pause over here and we will go for actual practical demonstration of these two methods. So we are going to start the demonstration. This is first method that is in prone position. That means the volunteer is lying on his abdomen. And then this is first method that is Schaeffer's method that I will put my arms or other hands on the waist region and then I will push, give the pressure on this waist region so that the internal abdominal organs will go up and that's why expiration will take place. So when I am pushing, this is expiration. When I am bending backward, this is inspiration. So that will be passive. Expiration will be active. Remember, when I am pushing, this is expiration. When I am bending backward, this is inspiration. So expiration is active like this and inspiration is passive. This is unphysiological. This is 1, 2, 3. This word should be over there. When I am pressing, this is expiration. So 1, 2. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. Actually, this is the good method in cases of the drowning because the your all water is drained from the stomach and the chest region. Second advantage, whenever there are injuries to the back region or the chest region, this method can be adopted. But remember, if there is an injury to the abdomen or on this region, you cannot adopt this particular method. So this is called as the first method of Schaeffer method but here only the drawback is that when I am pushing this expiration is active and inspiration is passive which is unphysiological. So we will take the pause and we will see another method. Okay, so we are going to see now another method in the prone position which also can be used for the drowning purpose. That means this is called the Holger Nelson method. So somebody may, may ask why there is a Schaeffer method and when to take the Holger Nelson method. So if there are injuries to the abdomen, you cannot use the Schaeffer method. Then I have to use this particular Holger Nelson method. So remember, there is a depends on the injury. Where is the injury? Because in this method, I am taking these arms up like this and then stretching like this. This is inspiration. And then when I am pushing like this on the scapulae, this is called as the expiration. So this inspiration, just stretch it up. Arms, you have to stretch and then for the, this is this will call inspiration stretching the arms like this and then this like this expiration so inspiration for three seconds so one two three one two one two three one two one two three one two but here you can observe that I am getting little bit exhausted so this method is tiring Previous method was not tiring. This is the difference. So sometimes you will need some assistance to complete this particular process. But the another advantages are same. As it is prone position, naturally water will drain out from the stomach as well as from the chest and it will be very helpful to draining the water out. But again, here you remember that both the process are actually active processes. For example, when I am stretching, inspiration is also active and when I am pushing, Expiration is also active. So when inspiration and expiration both are active, that is called as good ventilation. So in the previous method, you remember, 
their inspiration was passive and expiration was active. Here both processes are active, so good ventilation takes place and this is the good method of in prone position. So this will, uh, we will conclude and this we will take a pause and we will go for another session of video recording. Thank you.